Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, God, we just glorify you today. God, we lift you up and we praise your name, God. Glory. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. Oh, Father God, we thank you for this day that you have blessed us with, Father God, for opening our eyes to see another day, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for your breath within our bodies. We thank you, Lord God, for watching over us as we slept, Father God. We just thank you for this day, Lord God. We thank you for this day filled with grace and mercy that we don't even deserve, Father God. We just want to tell you thank you today, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Father God. Oh, God, we just ask you to forgive us for our sins, Lord God, knowing and unknown, Lord God. Oh, God, we just thank you today, Father God. Lord, we just desire to be pleasing in your eyes. Say, Father God, so Lord, we ask that you will help us with this day, Father God. Help us with our walk and our talk, Father God. Help us with our actions and our reactions today, Father God, because sometimes, Father God, we cannot even control the way that we react, Father God. But Lord, I'm asking that you would touch your people today, Father God, they will have some self-control, Father God. Lord, help your people, Father God, not to overreact, Father God, not to even be so offended, Father God. Help your people, Father God, not to be so touchy, Father God. Help them, Father God, not to be even easily angered on today, Father God. Because, Lord, there's so many things, Father God, that easily trigger your people on today, Father God. But, Lord, I'm asking that you would help your people to be settled in you on today, Father God. That they will remain calm, Father God. They will not let that word, Father God, or even that person, Father God, that comes up against them, Father God, get unsettled and get unbothered on today, Father God. Lord, I'm asking that you would help your people, Father God, to breathe easy on today, Father God. Lord, I'm asking that you would go before them, Lord God, letting them know that you are their avenger, Father God. That any and everything that they are going through that anybody has done to them, Father God, that you see all and you know all, Father God. Oh, God, I'm asking that you would touch your people, Father God, and let them know to stand still and wait on you, Father God. Lord, let them know, Father God, you are before them, that nobody could be against them, Lord. Oh, God, I'm asking that you would touch your people on today, Father God. Settle them and ground them and root them in you on today, Father God. Lord, be who you are to us, Father God, because we know that you are everything that we need and more, Lord God. Oh, God, we just thank you today, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Father God. Lord, we welcome you into our homes today, Father God. We welcome you into our atmosphere, Father God. Wherever that we may be, Father God, we welcome you in, Father God. We open up our arms to you, Father God, and we ask you, Lord God, to come in, Father God, and have your way, Lord God. Let your will be done within our lives on today, Father God. For whatever it is that you have planned for us, Father God, we have a heart to accept it on today, Father God. Oh, God, I'm asking that you continue to touch your people, Father God, to give them a heart of acceptance today, Father God. Accept some things that are going to begin to change within their lives, Father God, because it was not the way that you had planned for it to be anyway on today, Father God. Lord, touch your people on today, Father God, to give them a heart of acceptance to accept the changes that you are beginning to make within their lives on today, Father God. Let them know, Father God, that everything is changing for their good, Father God. Let them know, Father God, that you are not doing these things to hurt them, Father God, but you are doing these things, Father God, to rearrange the things, Father God, that they put their hands to, Father God. It was not the way that you had planned for it to be. But, Lord, today that you are making it right today, Father God. You are putting those puzzle pieces back together where they belong on today, Father God. You are reordering their footsteps and directing their paths on today, Father God, because we went in the wrong way, Lord God. And we want to thank you, Lord God, for being our shepherd, for being our leader, for directing our footsteps and guiding our path, Father God, because sometimes we don't even know which way to go, Lord God. But, Lord, you always come in, Father God, and set us straight, Father God, and put us on the right path that we want to tell you thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for being so concerned about us, Father God. You thank you, Father God, for meet, meeting each and every one of our needs, Lord, each and every day. Just want to tell you thank you, Father God, that we make sure, Lord God, that we don't go without and we don't lack. We just tell you thank you today, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord God, because each and every day that we wake up, Lord God, you provide for us, Father God. You meet our needs, Lord God, and it may not always be what we want, but it's exactly what we need, and we just want to tell you thank you, Father God, for the clothes on our back, the shoes on our feet, and the food on our table, Lord. We just want to tell you thank you, Lord God. We want to come to you today, Father God, with a heart of gratefulness, Father God, because sometimes your people are so unsatisfied. But today, Lord, we want to tell, the, tell you that we are satisfied with you, Lord God, because you are more than enough. And we just want to tell you thank you, Lord God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Father God, for each and every provision that you have made for us, Father God, for providing for us, Lord God, for every privilege that you have bestowed upon us, Lord God. We just want to tell you thank you for it, Lord God. Because you don't have to do these things, Father God, but you do it because you love us, Lord God. And we just want to tell you thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, for giving us these things that we need, Father God. 
And we want to thank you, Father God, for even giving us some of our wants because you are just that kind of father. We want to tell you, Lord, we are grateful and we appreciate you, Lord God, for seeing about us each and every day, Lord God, and coming in and meeting our needs. So, God, we just want to come to you today, Father God, and give you all our worries, cares, and concerns, Father God, because we know that you care for us, Lord God. And whatever that thing, Father God, that concerns us the most, you will perfect it. So, God, we give it to you this morning, Father God. We give you our worries on our jobs, Father God. We give you our worries in our homes and our marriages, Father God. We give you our children, Father God, and even our families, Lord God. The ones that you gave birth to us, Father God, and the ones that we made throughout life, God. We just give you all of our people, Father God, because they need you, Lord God. And we know that you're the only one we can come to, Father God, that will fix some things and that will change some things, Father God. So, Lord, I'm asking that you will continue to heal our families on today, Father God. That you will touch them from the top of our, our heads to the soles of their feet, Lord God. That you continue to touch their hearts, Father God, to give them hearts of forgiveness for each other on today, Father God. Lord, I'm ask that you will continue to sever that spirit of division within our family, Lord God, that's running rampant. That's causing us to fight up against each other, Father God, and separate, Father God. But Lord, we know that you are a family-oriented God, so God, continue to bring the families together, the mothers and fathers and the sisters and brothers, Father God. The siblings, Lord God, the cousins, Lord God, the uncles and aunts, Father God, just bring all your people back together, Father God. Each and every person, Father God, that you have preordained and predestined for us to be attached to, Father God, I'm asking that you will continue to connect us, Father God. Continue to connect us to the right people, Father God. Putting those people in our path, Father God, that you have for us on today, Father God. We want to tell you, Lord God, thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for connecting us to the right people, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for putting those people in our path, Father God, that you have designed for us, Father God. And we thank you, Lord God, for those families that you create for us, Father God, even when those birth families that we were born into, Father God, do not love us the way that you have designed for them to love us. We want to tell you thank you, Father God. We want to thank you, Father God, for that spiritual mother, that spiritual father, that spiritual sister and brother, Father God. We want to thank you, Lord God, for our spiritual children, Lord God. We are just so grateful to you, Lord God, because you always know what we need and how much we need, and you're always right on time with our needs to be met. And we just want to tell you thank you, Father God, for your plan that you have on our life, Father God, and your perfect time, Lord God, and your will for us, God. We just tell you thank you, God. We just want to tell you thank you, God. We love you and we appreciate you because you're just such an amazing God. You are the King of Kings. You are the love of Lords and Lords and you are the great I am. You are worthy Father God and you are greatly to be praised and we just want to bless you Father God. We want to give you all the salutations and glory and honor and praise that do unto you Father God. Not because we have to Lord but we desire to Father God because we have grown to love you even the more Father God. And we thank you Lord God for each and every day that you draw us near and closer to you Father God. That you open up our hearts to you even the more Father God. We welcome you in Father God. Each and every knock of the door that you knock on our hearts Father God God, we open that door and let you into our hearts, Father God. To each and every area of our lives, Father God, we welcome you in, Father God, because you know what needs to be fixed and what needs to be mended, Father God. You know what needs to be replaced and what needs to be removed, Lord God, and we just want to tell you thank you, Father God, for fixing it all for us, Lord, because we can't fix it ourselves, Father God. Oh God, you hold all power in your hand, and we thank you, Father God, that you are all powerful and all knowing, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are all seeing and you are everywhere, Father God, at one time, Lord. We just want to tell you thank you, Lord God, because you do something that are unspeakable and that are unimaginable. We just want to tell you thank you for it, Father God. That you leave us in awe each and every day, Father. We just want to praise you, God. We praise you, God. We praise you, God. We praise you, praise you, God. Oh, God, we just bless you today, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for each and every impossible situation that you made possible, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for each and every way that you made when we didn't see a way, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for each and every door that you opened, Lord God, that we thought was closed shut. We thank you, Father, Father God, for the doors that you did close that needed to be shut, Father. We just want to tell you thank you, Lord God, because you truly know what's best for us, Father God. We thank you for the experiences and even the encounters with you, Father God, so we know that a shadow of a doubt that you are real, Father God, and we don't have to do it from somebody else's perspective for what they told us, but we have experienced you for ourselves. Lord, I'm going to ask that you continue to give us experiences and encounters with you, Father God, so that we may continue, Father God, to speak your word and speak your truth, Father God, that we may draw others closer to you on today, Father God. So, Lord, as we go out and about throughout our day, I'm asking that you will let your love and your light shine through us on today, Father God, that you will speak to us and speak through us, Father God, move in the mighty way, Father God. Lord, I'm going to ask that you will fill us up until we overflow, Father God, because we need the more of you on today, Father God. Lord, there's so many times that we are seeking things and worldly positions, Father God, to complete us, Lord God, but you are the only one who completes us, Father God, and we thank you, Father God, for completing us, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for filling that void within our hearts that we so desperately needed, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for filling us up with your unconditional love, Father God, that we seek all around for, Father God, but we didn't find it in anybody except for you on today, Father God. So we open up our hearts to it 
accept your unconditional love on today, Father God, and take and tell you thank you, Lord God, for filling us up with your unconditional love, Father God. Filling up those places, Father God, we thought that were empty and broken, Father God. For filling up those empty voids inside of our hearts, minds, and spirit, Father God, that we didn't know what was missing. But it was you, Father God. And we thank you, Lord God, that you found us, Father God, right in the nick of time and saved us, Father God. That you stepped in, Father God, and stopped the situation, Father God, and even detour us on today, Father God. And we just want to tell you, thank you, Lord God. We thank you for the detour, Father God, and we thank you, Lord God, for the way of escape, Lord God. We thank you for the master plan that you have on our life, Lord God. We just thank you, Father God. Oh, God, I'm going to ask that you continue to cover your people across the nation, Father God, that you would touch each and every person, Father God, in the north, south, and east, or west of us, Lord God, that you continue to cover our children, Father God, that you could continue, Lord God, to place a shield of protection around our babies today, Father God, because they are so susceptible to the things that go around in the world, Father God, but I'm asking you, Lord God, that you will cover them and keep them safe on today, Father God, that you will help our children, Father God, not to fall into peer pressure on today, Father God, that you will cover our children and keep them safe, Father, safe, Father God, from any predators, Father God, any pedophiles, Father God, and any bullets or any mean men, Father God, even protect our children from their own selves on today, Father God, because we know that the enemy will attack the minds of our children, and if they can attack our children, Father God, they know they can get us in a state of worry, but Lord, we give our children to you, Lord God, because we know that you can do what nobody else can do, Father God, and they simply come in and save them on today, Father God, so Lord, save our children, Father God, even as they are babies, Father God, save our adult children on today, Father God, our teenage children, Lord God, go before them on today, Father God, and regulate their mindsets, Father God, because they're so easily distracted by the things in the world, Father God. They are easily, Lord God, persuaded to do some things, but Lord, I'm asking that you would step into the lives of our children because our children are our future. So God, go before us and help us to create the future for our children that you have designed for them on today, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for the plan that you have for our children. We thank you for choosing our children, Father God, for whatever it is that you have designed for them on today, Lord God, we tell you thank you, Lord God, because we know that each and every child was born into this world for a reason, Father God, and we we don't know how long that we may be able to keep some of our children because some of our children come into our lives and then they go right back to you, Father God. But we want to thank you for the small time that you allowed us to have that child within our life, Lord God. And Lord, we don't even understand the reason or the purpose for that situation, Father God. But Lord, I'm asking that you would touch that mother who lost that child, Father God, who lost that child and who was not ready to let that baby go on today, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking that you would be her comfort and her peace on today, Father God, because her heart is torn and broken, Father God. And she doesn't understand why you took them, Father God, but you know what the reason was, Father God. You know what the purpose was, Father God, and you know what the plan was on today, Father God. You know why that baby had to come back to you on today, Father God. So I'm asking that you would be her comfort today, Father God. That you would be her peace of mind on today, Father God. That you would settle her spirit on today, Father God. That you would wrap your arms around her, Father God, and cradle her, Father God. That you would follow her on today, Father God, and let your peace reside within her life on today, Father God. Touch that father today, Father God, who is grieving as well on today, Father God, because he doesn't even understand or know how to express himself about that situation, Father God. But Lord, I'm going to ask that you will be his peace on today, Father God, that you will help him to exp express himself, Lord God. Lord, I'm going to ask that you will touch all of your people, Father God, who are dealing with grief, Father God, because each and every one of your people, Father God, deal with grief differently on today, Father God, and different things grieve people, Father God. So Lord, I'm going to ask that you will be the comfort for your people on today, Father God, that you will give them that peace that surpasses all understanding, Father God, that you will wipe away each and every tear of sadness and anger and grief, Father God, and fill them up with joy and laughter on today, Father God. Lord, touch all of your people, Father God, and put laughter and joy inside of their spirit on today, Father God, where they just turn around and laugh for no reason, Father God, because they feel your spirit move on today, Father God, because it gives them a feeling of joy on today, Father God. Lord, I'm asking that you would spread joy across the nation on today, Father God, because there's so many things going on and your people are feeling hopeless, Father God. Lord, I'm asking that you would restore the hope to the lives of your people on today, Father God, for according to your will and your purpose and your perfect plan, God. Oh, God, I'm asking that you will let the love and laughter, Father God, flow throughout the land, Lord God, and your unconditional love on today, Father God, that we may love on each other just a little bit more, Father God, that may we help each other just a bit, little bit more, Father God, and that your people would be selfless, Father God, and not so selfish, Father God, that you remove that grudging spirit from your people on today, Father God, that haughtiness and that proper spirit on today, Father God, that know it all spirit and even that spirit of being judgmental on today, Father God, because so many people are self-righteous, thinking and believing that they're better than somebody they got it all together father god but we know that not one of us is perfect father god but you are the only perfect one on today father god but we are striving each and every day to be like you so god help your people on today father god to be more like you father god to walk like you and talk like you and even think like you on today father god and lord if there's anything father god inside of us that's not pleasing in your eyesight we ask that you remove it father god because we just desire to make you smile father god we just want to do the things that are pleasing unto you on today father god so lord we ask you to forgive us for our sins lord god 
Even those things that we do and see that, that is unknown, unknowingly on today, Father God. We want to repent and ask you to help us on today, Father God, because we just want to be pleasing in your eyesight, Father God. We don't want you to turn a deaf ear to our prayers, Father God, or not even come down and see about us, Lord. So, Lord, we just want to tell you thank you, Father God, for being so considerate, Father God. Lord, help us to be even be considerate of you and the things that we do, Father God, because we don't want to continue to anger you, Father God, or be a stench to your nose on today, Father God. But we want to give you a pleasant smell, Father God. We want to hear good and well done, our faithful servant, Lord God. Well done, my sons and daughters, Father God. So, Lord, help us, Father God, in all our ways and all of our actions, Father God, so that we may be a reflection of you, Father God. Oh, God, we just thank you for this day that you have blessed us with, Father God, and everything in it, Lord God. And, Lord, whatever it is that you will for our days to happen, Lord God, we just want to tell you thank you, Father God. Whether it's something that we expected it to be, Father God, or just what... Or just what you have designed for it to be, Lord God. We don't know what's going to happen hour by hour, Father God. But we know whatever happens, Lord God, is in your plan, Father God. Because everything was preordained and predestined for it to happen to us, Lord God. It's all your purpose, Lord God. And we just want to thank you for it, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, because everything that happened is supposed to happen, Lord God. So, Lord, I'm going to ask that you continue to give your people clarity and understanding, Father God, about the things that are going on within our lives on today, Father God. Let your people know, Father God, it's only a test, Father God. And that test is for that testimony. Father God, to share, Father God, to help edify and uplift somebody else on today, Father God. Let them know, Father God, they have to endure some things and even encounter some situations on today, Father God. And though it may not be easy, Father God, let them know that weeping may come for a night, but joy comes in the morning, God. Oh God, I'm asking that you would touch your people, Father God, and uplift their spirits on today, Father God, and let them know, Father God, even though the storm may be brewing, Father God, that the sun will shine tomorrow, Father God. Let them know, Father God, that the road may be bumpy, Father God, but it shall smooth out soon, Father God. That the greater is later, Father God, and I will best is yet to come. Oh God, I just want to bless you on today, Father God, because we know that the current season that we in, Father God, is only lasts for a little while, Father God. That a new season will begin, Father God, and things will begin to change, Father God. And we want to thank you, Father God, for the change, Father God, and the refreshing and the renewal and the restart within our life, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for the new beginning, Father God, because it's you and it's only you, Father God, who can and has the power to rewrite our story. And we just want to give you all power and all control of everything within our lives, Father God, because it's you and it's only you who can do what needs to be done within us, Father God. And we want to thank you today, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, because you know any and everything that we need and all more, Father God. We just take you. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, God, we just want to tell you thank you, Lord God, because you are in and everything that we need, Lord God. Everything that we need, Lord God, that you are. And we just want to bless you today, Father God. Oh, God, I'm going to ask that you would touch each and every person, Father God, who comes to counter with this life, Father God, who hears this prayer, Father God. I ask that you would bless their spirit today, Father God. I ask that you, Father God, will uplift them, Father God, touch their hearts and their minds on today, Father God, and settle them in you on today, Father God. And I just want to tell you thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing more for us, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for each and every person that you have brought within my life, Father God. I want to tell you thank you. Father God, for all that you do for me and more, Lord God. Each and every one of my loved ones, Father God, I just want to tell you thank you, Father God. I thank you, Lord God, for that stranger on the street, Father God, and even that person that I cross paths with in the grocery store, Lord God. I just want to tell you thank you, Father God. Because each and every person that's in this world, Lord God, is here for a purpose, Lord God. And I just want to tell you, thank you on their behalf, Lord God. Oh, Father God, I ask you to continue to hear the, the prayers that we pray each and every day, Father God. That you would hear your hearts cry of the people, Father God, and consider the prayers that we pray, Father God, each and every day. That you would consider them, Lord God. And I thank you, Father God, for all the prayers that you have answered and all the prayers that you're about to answer, Lord God. I want to thank you, Lord God, for opening up the heavens and pouring out blessings that we don't have room to receive, Lord. I just want to tell you, thank you, Father God. Because you are worthy of it, Father God. You are so amazing. You are so wonderful, Father God. And I just thank you, Lord God, that, I, that we begin to get to know you, Lord God. Oh, Father God, I ask you to cover this prayer, Father God. In your son Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And because of that, I got to say, thank you.